I couldn't have been the one I made. I must be seeing things. I did have a lot of chocolate this morning. <laughs> what if I wasn't seeing things? What if that was my pie? <laughs> that would be bananas. <laughs> <gasps> Unless Rainbow Dash has been replaced by an imposter who throws delicious pies away. Or has she been brainwashed by a pie-eating evil queen? You make a good point. Rainbow Dash is too stubborn to be brainwashed. Plus, she hates washing. Hmm, there's something else going on here. Let's look up a few of the more recent pies I've made for her. The boysenberry pie I made for her birthday, and her three half-birthday lemon meringues, and the It's Not Your Birthday But Here's a Pie Anyway Day Custard Pie. She ate all of these, right? <gasps> Another pie? Thank you so much! Whoa, what's that? Huh, guess it was nothing. <laughs> awesome! Three lemon meringues? Uh, hey, what's that over there? Oh, never mind. <laughs> Great pies! Happy it's not your birthday, but here's a pie anyway, day! Thank you! No way, check that out! It's not even my birthday! Oh, sorry. Guess it was nothing. Mm, but that custard was everything. Have I ever really seen Rainbow Dash eat one of my pies? Do I always look when somebody points behind me? What's there? <laughs> Good one. But I need answers. I've sent Rainbow Dash a pie every month she's been a Wonderbolt. And you're telling me you've never seen her eat one? Uh, 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 affirmative. Or uh, negative. Um, I, I mean, she wasn't seen eating one. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Are we under investigation? As chief detective on the pie case, I've labeled you all ponies of interest. So it's best you tell me everything you know. Well, we have been getting mysterious monthly pie donations. <gasps> Would you be able to pick these pies out of a lineup? I hear Rainbow Dash's pet tortoise tank has been having tummy troubles. When did it start? About a week ago. Poor tank had all the telltale signs of sugar overload. Jittery shell, sleeplessness, reptilian indigestion. Hmm. And this all happened the day after I made Rainbow Dash a thanks for lending me your jacket peach pie. It seems the pieces of the puzzle are plopping into place, but the picture isn't pretty. <gasps> Note to self, P alliteration pie. Is that everything, Doctor? Well, there's also this. Interesting. Did you have the lab analyze the flavor of that pie? No, but you know, Miss Cheerily was in here not long ago. The class hamster was having similar symptoms. <gasps> Perhaps it's a pie pandemic. And I just might know Pony Patient Zero. Dr. Fawn is right. I do always have to remind the fools and fillies not to share the pies with a glass hamster. Animals just can't digest pony food. Indeed. But where do these pies come from? Well, they're from Rainbow Dash. She drops off her day after Rainbow Dash's half birthday pie every year. Did you say the day after her half birthday? Very, very interesting, because I give her a pie on her half birthday every year. And I have a feeling it's the same pie. Well, wherever it comes from, the students just love it. I'm so glad. At least I can be sure some pony is. She didn't eat the blueberry. She didn't eat the banana. She didn't eat the cream, and she didn't eat the chocolate. She didn't eat any of them! Why? And don't tell me this all just started recently. It's been going on for years. Cheerily said so herself. If there's one thing I know, you can't escape the truth.